That's something a little different I want to show you today. I will be featuring the legendary auto train as complete as I can fit it on this layout including all the passenger cars and everything else but I wanted to show you this latest kit bashing project which I needed it's not finished yet it still needs a a chimney right here but the auto train company originally ran their trailers that were carried three cars high on the front of the trains directly behind the locomotives between just south of Washington DC and Sanford in Florida during the 1970s and they soon discovered that for various reasons which I'll explain in the long term video I'm going to make they moved the trailers the car carrying trailers to the back of the train now this according to US railway rules facilitated some kind of break end or caboose at the end of it now originally they hooked up a typical caboose that you would see on any railroad in America to the end of these auto trailers but they also converted some of the existing auto trailers into a hybrid caboose trailer carrier car carrier and this is what I've done here I've used styrene to build the cupola I've cut a hole in either side for the windows and a vestibule open area at the back typical of a caboose so you can see like this end of it is like half a caboose and this end is the complete trailer w whether they use the other part of the car for carrying automobiles I don't know uh, that's it I can only find one picture of this online and this is it there's literally only one picture of it anywhere I've ever found and this is it so I've modeled it based on this it's still missing the chimney as I said and it's basically the Backman 1970s model which you could pick up cheap back in the day and I have kit bashed this using styrene and so on to build the extra parts I painted the roof grey it's originally silver but it doesn't look right and the photographs it seems to be grey and so I will do the same to the rest of them like I said I will feature the entire auto train eventually and this will include a heating boiler because this train was steam heated that was converted from a steam locomotive tender so it's a fascinating project to model and uh, I have like four auto train locos and so we'll have a proper running session which will also include uh, the seaboard airline which is where most of the well all of the auto train route ran along and the seaboard airline you can see here in Spice Centennial 1776 U36B I'll explain all that in the video so look forward to a video on the auto train featuring 1976 somewhere south of Washington DC on its way to Sanford in Florida during the winter or the spring or the autumn when it was most popular and I'll give you a fascinating history of this company and it, which still exists to this day on the Amtrak more or less and why it was groundbreaking and why it's a, a, a very interesting thing to model you couldn't model the entire one you would need a gigantic layout but anyway this is something to look forward to on Arcadia Junction and a bit of my you know I'm not the best scratch builder in the world but it's adequate it didn't this car didn't cost me a lot back in the day and uh, you know the paint job is not the best or anything but again I'm not as you know a top level modeler I want to create the atmosphere on my layout more so than perfection and so uh, the auto train yeah fascinating part of American railroading history and uh, one that will be in an upcoming video thank you very much take care and please subscribe if you want to see more of the same bye